think it's been pretty quiet. Um, again, there's some risk that the tax incentives for retirement savings will take a nick. My own view is that in the context of deficit reduction, they do take a nick. Probably a little bit of scaling back of the level of tax incentives for upper income taxpayers. Beyond that, it's probably a couple of years before major retirement legislation and most of the actions on the regulatory side. Finishing up 401k fee disclosure, finishing up new disclosures on target date funds, and some new action on retirement income, where both Treasury and the Department of Labor are finally starting to push some regulatory guidance on this key retirement income question. Income tax rates, capital gains and dividends taxation, estate tax, all of those tax cuts from 2001 and 2003 expire at the end of the year. We're not going to see any action on that before the November elections, so we're going to be down to the wire before we know what happens. I think the most likely outcome is a short-term extension of all of those policies, six months or 12 months, while they have this huge, enormous battle over what the long-term tax policy should be. And there'll be a lot of debates about tax reform. Some are saying, look, if we have so many open issues in tax policy, we need to take advantage and try to do fundamental tax reform. Romney would have a bigger effect. He's got more sweeping tax policies. He wants to get rid of cap gains and dividends taxation for everybody below $250,000. That means retail vehicles are just as good as tax-preferred retirement vehicles for those folks, right? And he would clearly change the regulatory direction. So on issues like 12B1 fee reform, uh, new standard of care for broker-dealers under the securities laws, money market reform, Republicans have really been skeptical of the wisdom of those projects. Romney's people would be very lucky, likely to pull that back. So that would be a, a big change in terms of the landscape advisors would face. In terms of the outlook for Social Security reform, um, I think it's actually easier to achieve than a lot of the tax reform or deficit reduction issues because there's more consensus. The problem is it's unlikely to move by itself. It's probably going to be bound up with tax and deficit reduction. And even though there's more consensus, um, Democrats are very unlikely to go along with scaling back Social Security benefits unless Republicans are willing to put more revenue on the table, willing to tax upper income more. So the, the tax and entitlement reform issues are really bound together, which is a shame because, frankly, they could get to social security reform more easily.